Yeah. Ozen, like let's talk about let's talk about you and uh, fast forward you and like uh, uh, Chana. Yeah, Chana. You had you and Chana was one of the biggest thing you know that was uh, grooming in the Gambia. Like yeah. your collaboration, your mm-hmm. your partnership was like uh, a huge a huge impact on the Gambian music industry. Definitely. You know, you did a great uh, collaboration with him, you, you know, produced a lot of songs, you know. Both of you were like, uh, like, uh, I can say the advantage between both of you was like, it's an impact on, the, on both of your careers. You know, you, you know, most of your raps doing it in Mandinka, Mandinka with, with Chana, with the wall of, wall of vast soul. and stuff. It was a, it know. was a, it was a, it was a versatile combination. A versatile combination, you know. You know. Yeah, it was, it was so, recently, uh, I just want to put this question on you because recently most of the music followers uh, don't even understand what was going on or what is even going on right now because recently we haven't seen Dada doing any song with Chana for the last two years. I, I thought in the, even last, your last album, the last album you did, there was no combination with you and no, Chana. No, he was on the last album. He was on the last yeah, album? Yeah, he was on the last But then the on thing the, is, yeah. you know, um, in as much as I love working with Chanta, he's mm. my brother, he's my family till mm. date. You know, we were never a group, you know, yeah. but we had this chemistry. Mm. And then the fact that you made a point clear is that the Maninka Wolof kind of, mm. you know, combination mm. was making too much sense. Mm. Because for people that don't understand me as a Maninka and then the Wolofs will understand Chanta. So they will definitely listen to our sounds because Chanta is there. People that understand the Maninka and don't understand the Wolof will definitely listen to the sound because I'm the Maninka guy there. So like, you know, that was creating unity between both, both of, the, of you. Yeah, both both of the sides, you yeah. know, both of both of the listening sides. Yeah. You know, but as time goes on, you know, in as much as like you work with people, but y'all always have different tastes. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a person that I'm a like this. Mm-hmm. Chanta might not like it. Mm-hmm. I'm a person I can like this. He might not like it. So that's that's just human nature. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's new. that's why most of the groups lately you mm-hmm. don't see them going far because like people mm-hmm. have different personalities, di- different tastes, different different things they love. Mm-hmm. So that's why sometimes it doesn't work. So like in our case, it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't until 2019 which mm-hmm. we told ourselves that like you know. Maybe we need to work on our solo projects mm. and see how far that's gonna go. Mm. And since we started dipping into that solo projects, that was when you know things start separating. You know, mm. till 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 we both but, realized. But that the relationship is still smooth. Yes, yeah, my family, man. Yeah, he called. Yeah. Uh, he call, I just called him like last week. Yeah, you know, we were talking. So we we always yeah. talk. We've like seen him good luck. Then. You know, we've seen China good yeah, luck. Yeah, uh, more, more success. Mm, definitely. Because the reason why I'm asking is that I was a fan. You know, personally, yeah. I was a fan of both of your music. So like the collaboration was. Really Really good but recently uh since you started producing your albums and your singles like it's like a different there was a little little difference between you and him because there is there is more usen that are on the stream on the on the on the on the radios on everything but china is still uh yeah that's why bit. that's why i said people are not the same you know maybe mm. he felt like you know he need to just take his time you know work on himself you know work on his craft you know people have different ways of working you know like there are artists that are always on the media mm. always on the mainstream and there are artists that just prefer just li- li- like being a low-key artist till when they have things to say and then they just come out and then boom they're there yeah 